because I write, usually write two books a year, so my nose is always in the next thing. And even when I was like, you know, at the premiere in Hollywood, I, that same day I was working in the, in the lobby till about four o'clock in the afternoon and then had to go get ready and, and go to it. So, I mean, obviously I have a lot more readers now than I used to, it's, it's, it's a big deal for me, but you know, day to day, I feel like I'm still doing the same thing. Who was your favorite superstar? Cause like Ryan Gosling, I mean, who was your favorite superstar to meet? Uh, Reggae Jean Page. Really? Which I knew nothing about him. Um, his character was very different than the one that I wrote, but I like I wish I thought of the way that they, they did him. And he was just a, so charming and, and just, just a cool guy. Like 10 seconds after starting talking to him, you don't even know he's like a Hollywood. Now, we've talked about the extensive research you do on each novel. So talk about that. Tell people. Yeah, well, so this one, um, there's a lot of technology in it. It's a spy novel. It's human beings chasing each other around the world. It's not, you know, you know, it's not high tech. It's, it's not a term paper. But I had to learn a lot about artificial intelligence and what's happening also about robotics. It's not science fiction. Everything that happens in this book is either existing or emerging technology. So I had to do a ton of research on that. And then I always do my location research. I went to Mexico for this Ew. one. And I'd spent a lot of time in Guatemala where part of it takes place. So I was able to to channel that. Okay, so you know I'm gonna ask for the tea, the deets. Um, we know you had a Netflix blockbuster. Are there any um, plans for a movie in the future? Yeah, they have a, there, there's a script uh, for the second one and I'm not sure if it's all polished. Um, it's uh, Steve McFeely, uh, one of the guys that wrote some of the Marvel movies wrote the script for it so I'm hoping that they announce something I'm, yeah, I'll probably find out the same time everybody else does <laughs> but I mean you you're you're a Memphian I mean you yeah. grew up was it Midtown uh, was it? East Memphis East Memphis yeah, that's where I still am <laughs> isn't that wild yeah. and so uh, you know I have to ask why why stay here when you travel the world you could be anywhere in the world yeah well I I, I really like to travel I like to go I've been to 38 countries and have a couple more on deck for t this year but I like to come home and you know Memphis has its problems but I've never been anywhere that didn't so uh, you know this is home and it, it just feels right okay how can we get our hands on this well let's see I'm going to it, it comes out Tuesday um, and it will I'll be at novel bookstore on the 24th which is a week from Saturday at 2 p.m. signing books but you can get them wherever books are sold audio books or whatever you know I wore this dress for the book <laughs> I saw the cover. It does. It matches. It's totally the same. No, but uh, seriously, it, you are such a Memphis treasure. I'm so honored to sit on the red couch with you. I cannot wait for uh, your next works. Thank you so much for gracing us with your Great visit. to see you, Kanji. Thank yes. you for having me. Yes.